All right, we're on the first tee box at Chambers Bay. It is an extremely aggressive 465 yard par four that I pray for nothing worse than double on. Um, straight down the chute, everything slopes to the left when you get towards the green. So if you miss, everything's gonna funnel down to the bottom of a hill and you gotta chip like 25 feet uphill. It's pretty gnarly, so try to stay to the right on your approach shot. Away we go. All right, here's hole number two at Chambers Bay. It's uh, 365 yards from the sand tees, which are one uh, in front of the tips. There's a waste area up there. Zoom in on it. Other way to zoom. Right there, that'll gobble your drive if you hit it pure and kind of right at it. You don't want to be there. Um, if you can't tell yet, the fescue is pretty long, I mean. That's at least seven inches of fescue, so if you're out, you're in a world of pain. Hit it to the right. Okay, this is the third hole at Chambers Bay. It's uh, about 155 to the flag, maybe 150. Usually plays a little bit shorter, but uh, they got that pin tucked way back. She's playing pretty gnarly today. Uh, you can see this horrific waste area over here. Do not hit a pole. Everything's a false front that slopes down into this nastiness. Okay. So you want to aim right and kind of let it filter to the back, but with where that pin is, this is going to be a tough one today. So here we go. Okay, friends, you can hear me huffing and puffing because to get up to the fourth, you got to walk up a little fierce hill. Although they did put a snack shack in, which has alcoholic beverages, which is good. Uh, this is Hazard Hazard's Ascent, the fourth hole at Chambers. You can see that, that uh, waste area off to the right. Oh, not a pleasant place to be. You can see a couple guys in this group in front of us. We got two left and two on the hunt in the right in six inches of fescue. Good luck, boys. Uh, basically, play left and stay left. Um, it's gnarly. Good luck going for this one and two because you have to cross that entire waste area to get there. So, hell of a golf hole and uh, good luck making par. Free fall. Okay, this is the fifth hole called free fall. You can see it's a long uh, downhill tee shot. It's a great looking driving hole. Um, with a remarkable landscape in the background. 441 yards from the sand tees and uh, oh, please hit the green stuff because it's giant. Yeah, avoid that waste area over to the right. You can also see we're playing straight ahead if you put your eyes on that tree and then go to the right. That's where the green is. There's also a, a secondary green right over here so they can shorten it up and play it from 320 yards. Interesting hole. We're on the sixth hole at Chambers. This is from the Sands. It's a 370 yard par four uh, with a really narrow kind of funneled approach up to the green, sand protecting it right and left. Really tough up there. Um, I misspoke earlier when I said that sand was one in front of the tips. It's actually two in front of the tips. It goes teal, navy, sand, white with sand playing at 65-44. The tips are 75-50. Good luck with that. All right, we're on number seven at Chambers. This is Humpback. Um, you can see it's tons of waste area to clear, but it's a great driving hole. Green's all the way up here. I'm trying to give you a shot. There's the humps that you want to avoid. And then here's the green up here. Massive false front where the ball will roll back 60 yards on you. Quite possibly the most obnoxious approach shot you will play in this state. And what we've been reading is that they're gonna redo the green because in the amateur they couldn't even get balls to hold up there. You'd hit it past the stick and it would roll all the way back down that first hump. So um, this one's a real biscuit. So let's play for par now. Okay, we're on number eight at Chambers. This is a number one handicap hole in the course. Uh, fairly narrow, long uphill par five. What's she playing at? Five and something, I don't know, a mile and a half. Um, steep cliff to the right full of fescue and gravel. Uh, steep cliff to the left, full of fescue and gravel. Uh, hit it down the middle, or whew, good luck. Hole number nine at Chambers, 168 yards from the Santees. You can see how significantly downhill it is. This waste area off to the right, where this fine gentleman will be playing his next shot. Let's just go take a look at him. He is in a world of pain, and no, my hand cannot stay still. Oh. And he's playing to, let me back out, up there, oh, 
so it plays a million clubs less than you would think. It's, this one's really tough. Undulated green that slopes back and towards that hazard. Uh, you can hit it long, you can hit it short. It's, you want to play it to the left and kind of let it funnel towards that green on, up there. See where that flag is. You want to hit it over here. Good luck. We're on number 10, which is high dunes, 360 yards, extremely narrow corridor for your approach shot and your tee shot, really. Um, uphill, you can see how tight that flag is all the way up there. It's a pretty challenging hole. By the way, that ninth hole, uh, depressing, really is. 170 yards from that tee box back there. We hit eight iron, I hit eight iron flush. I was a mile short, and then it rolls all the way back into that waste area. It was awesome. So, uh, yeah, have fun with the ninth. All right, we're on hold number, hold number 11 at Chambers after an extremely depressing hole number 10 where I needed an oxygen tank and a Sherpa to find my ball on the hillside. Um, this is a 420 yard par four, pretty straightforward, danger to the right. Just hit it over the mound. Don't be in the fescue where these guys are hunting for their ball and uh, you should be okay. All right, we're on number 12, which is the Narrows. About 262 from the sand. In theory, you can drive the green. Um, the green is just a giant bowl up there, so kind of anything that you hit, long, right, left, it all kind of funnels back to the center. I'm, if I remember correctly, this is one of the more undulated greens on the course, if not the most. It's got a couple of tiers when you get up there. Um, tough call off the tee box. You either go driver, you hit like a four iron, try to just lay up to that really narrow center up there. Um, we'll see what happens. Okay, coming in at 512 yards is the par 5 13th hole. Uh, uphill, dog leg right, waste areas. You don't get much of a view of it from a tee box, but uh, there's a lot of fescue out there, and then the waste is off to the right. So just, you know, same theory. Try to hit it down the middle and pray. All right, we're on number 14 at Chambers, which is called Cape Fear. One of the funner driving holes because you get to drive over this entire waste area. Look at how tall that fescue is, man. Whew. So basically you're opening your, uh, see that bunker off to the right. You want to hit to the left of that. And it's not too far to get there. You can see you got a couple guys. This guy walking over here, right? And that's kind of the play over here to the left of that. This guy, looks like there's a ball right up there. That's a hell of a lucky shot to not be in that bunker. So yeah, great driving hole. Then you got this long approach up to the green, and you see there's a group up there putting, so stay out of the waste. All right, we're on the 15th hole at Chambers Bay, which is the signature hole that you will see used in a lot of their advertising. It is gorgeous out here right now. That's the only real tree on the golf course that's somewhat in play, although if you hit it out there, you're in a little danger. This hole plays from the Santees, 127 downhill, wind coming off the water in your face. And you want to play it, uh, there's a little pot bunker over there on the left. Everything, you hit that hill and everything kicks to the right. So even if the pin's far, way further right than these guys are putting at right now, it'll kick off there and roll in. We've, uh, we've seen a guy on video acing one by doing that. So that's the shot over there on this hole. All right, we're on hole number 16 at Chambers Bay. This is beached. It's uh, from the Santee's 360 yard par four. You can see all the uh, nasty waste off to your right. So you gotta play your tee shot left to just kind of stay safe. It's a really tough uh, approach shot because if you slope off to the right, you go downhill and into the waste, and then you've got the train tracks and a chain link fence over there. It's just a hot mess. Um, I mean, you can see how close this hole sits to the water. It's pretty beautiful out here today. So I just kind of hit where that guy in orange is up there, in theory. And uh, you should have a tidy little approach. It's not too long at all, so give yourself wedge in. You should be good to go. All right, this is number 17, which is a 170-yard par 3. And it looks like the tee boxes are up a spot today because we get it from 150 on the screws pretty much. Um, danger all over the place and a little bit of a false front. Um, the play is kind of left, but, I mean, there's, there's nowhere to be safe. So just aim for the center and... Cross your fingers and so on and so forth. Zoom in here, get a better shot of these guys in the green. They seem to be extremely blurry. There we go. 
there you can see it goes part of the green a lot of undulation from right to left and left to right so the center is really the only spot tough hole all right we're on the 18th tee box at chambers bay this is called tahoma long 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 par five uh number two handicap hole in the course playing at 514 yards from the sand tees lots of waste lots of fescue just stay in the middle which hasn't been happening much today and uh, you can see some of the remnants of the old quarry that used to be over here great hole so hit it in the middle hit it in the middle again go for the green well here's an example of a miss okay drive pulled three wood I'm in the fescue look at this shot I mean really are you kidding me right now that's gonna be everything I got and it's freaking only a hundred yards of the green look at this fescue don't hit it left Ugh. this should be interesting all right so we just finished up didn't play that bad today didn't play great but didn't play that bad I did make par out of Vescue, by the way. Thank you very much. Pretty good view over here. You got 18 coming up here. Number one coming, going away right there. And then number 10 is right over there. Pretty solid view. Great day, Chambers.